And the big night has arrived. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. It's Arsenal facing Barcelona. Well, night games, European football, where does it get any better? Well, it does if you're in the final. But with finals, they're horrible if you lose. Make sure you win if you get here. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. Granite Jacker plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And the starting striker today is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And a strong tackle. The presence of Lionel Messi in the starting 11 should be a warning to opposing defenders. Well, how'd you stop him? Four goals in three games. I suggest the defenders, not just one of them. Twos and threes might be the case. And it's Messi going forward. What's he going to do next? De Jong. Well timed tackle. Nice looking pass. teammates to play it to and the defender got the last touch that'll be a corner played into the center of the box fisted away by the goalkeeper setting off perhaps a little bit too much here able to deal with the threat Dembele now Busquets Messi Frankie de Jong Sergio Busquets Pedri and they stopped them in their tracks Well, that's one for them to pursue. This looks promising. Aubameyang. And a very good challenge. Wonderful block. Well, no accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed. Well, it's the care and attention. All that work to get in the position and then way, way wide. De Jong Sergio Busquets now with De Jong Frankie De Jong on to Messi oh, potential danger paid to be now Busquets. Tempele. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Kieran Tierney. Granite Jacka. Dangerous looking through ball. And the cross evading everyone in the middle. Disappointing ball. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Now the delivery. Well, Barcelona have had total control of possession, but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. Too slow up front, midfield, very average. The coach, he's not happy at all. He wants more from this team. Busquets. And he's beaten him here. Top class defending. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Hex 
to be it in. Defended well. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And space to cross it. Well, the first half of this Europa League final. The quest for Europa League success. And the second half of this final is underway. Messi. On to De Jong. Good pass. Griezmann. that final pass you just feel not a particularly strong challenge Messi and the referee has pointed to the spot a penalty it is and a chance for them to forge ahead well that could be his final rebuke I think and the referee's making that absolutely clear well, I like that Derek good refereeing nice and strong told the player exactly what he was thinking to be a throw-in. And snuffing out the danger. And it's Messi going forward. What's he going to do next? Crossing possibilities. Messi. He got in the way of that cross. Really good high press. Played over the top towards Usman Dembele. Now the attack promising as it was. Scuppered there. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Aubameyang, and now passing it through, there it is, how about that for starters? Well, what a huge moment that might be for this club, the fans are going absolutely wild. Well, here it is again, the through ball is perfectly timed, it causes havoc, and he chooses to use power in the finish, not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Here it is now, a substitution. The opening goal of the game then. Jordi Alba. Well, it's been all Barcelona, hasn't it? But after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence. Get round them, I suppose, to trying to go through the middle. Sergio Busquets. Now Busquets. Pique with it. Serginho Dest. Longley. Now Busquets. Barcelona have given it away. Could be a chance to break here. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Play towards the back post. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. They're really pressing their opponents. Pjanic on to Messi well he's made the pass and it's for Antoine Griezmann and an offside by the merest of margins 
So making the substitution now. Only 10 minutes remaining here. De Jong. Barcelona fighting against this overall situation. What can they pull out of the fire? Terrific block there. Closing down well. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Kieran Tierney. And he did well to cut it out. Martinelli with the noses in front in the second half what will be the thinking in the cap Lee Dixon all the Arsenal players would be looking up at the clock time is ebbing away they have such a delicate lead will they rue those missed chances they could be costly De Jong so two minutes to be added on at the end Sergio Busquets on to De Jong Pjanic well sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game this could be the equaliser and there's the whistle this UEFA Europa League final has been decided disappointment on one side but sheer jubilation on the other and my goodness Lee they deserve it absolutely deserve it they were running the clock down at the end the referee Obliged and blew his whistle, and quite rightly so. They're now on the halfway line celebrating with all their teammates. I'm pretty sure all the subs, etc., will come running on as well. A great, great night for this football club. That's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. They're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, all those months of hard training sessions, pre-season training, you kind of look forward to get yourself through those sessions. And they'll be looking forward at moments like this. They've finally got their hands on this fantastic, magnificent trophy. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Long celebrations into the night, I'm pretty sure.